good morning today let us solve a few quadratic equations using factorization or using factors okay question number one solve x squared minus 3x is equal to 0 we have to solve x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. So, look at the commanding word. It is solve. Commanding word is solve. What do you mean by solve? Or find the solution. Or root. All these gives the same meaning. To find the value of the unknown variable. So which is the variable you find in this equation? Yes, it is x. x is the variable you find in this equation. So our task is to find the value or values of x. Okay. And we already learned how to solve a linear equation. Like if you get a question like you have already learned how to solve this linear equation. Why is it known as linear equation? Yes, it has the power or degree 1. So to solve this linear equation, it was very simple. We made x as the subject to the formula. That means transpose every factors or terms to the other side. We get the value of x and we got only one value for x because the degree is 1. That means first degree equations have only one solution. If it is second degree, it must have two solutions. Third degree contains three solutions. Fourth degree contains four solutions, etc. So as it was a linear equation, we got only one solution. Do you remember this? If you see another question, how did you solve this? Yes, we have to make x as the subject. So we need to remove all these items. First 9 cross multiply. We get 3x plus 5 is equal to 9 times 0 is 0. Take plus 5. To right hand side we get it as minus 5 take 3 to right side we get it as minus 5 divided by 3 as answer so this is a process you have learned already now let's see how to solve a quadratic equation so to solve this quadratic equation what we need to do is see look at this question if there were three terms we could use the method first term middle term last term so by splitting the middle term we could do the problem if there were the difference of two squares then we could use the method a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b into a minus b. So here the question is x squared minus 3x. It is not in any of those formats. And make sure that you are using the proper method according to the situation. So here splitting the middle term or a difference of squares or a plus b the whole squared or a minus b the whole square doesn't suit. So here we have to make a situation in such a way that 
see when you are taking the first term it is x into x just I am writing a rough work minus 3x is 3 into x so x squared is x into x and 3x is 3 into x you could find in both the terms x is common in both the terms x is common so if you take x as common we get x minus 3 is equal to 0 if you take x as common we get x into x minus 3 is equal to 0 now I'll ask you another question I'm multiplying two numbers a into b assume a and b are two numerals that gives us the result 0 a into b is equal to 0 what are the statements you can say from this a into b is equal to 0 what are the statements you can make yes the product of two numbers is 0 if you want the product of two numbers 0 it is must that any minimum one number should be 0 so a into b is equal to 0 is possible only when either a is 0 or b is 0 or both a and b are zeros am i right just think yourself the product of two numbers is zero when product of two numbers is zero it can be possible if it is two into zero is zero see one number is zero otherwise zero into five is zero or zero into zero is also zero so the product of two numbers is zero only when minimum one of the numbers is zero a into b is zero implies either a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero or a and b both are zeros so when you think that concept here x is in the place of a and x minus 3 is in the place of b just compare this is also product of two terms x into x minus 3 is equal to zero so we can say that it gives us the result that either x equals 0 or x minus 3 equals 0 with this concept. So that gives the answer x is equal to 0 or x equals to 3. When you take minus 3 to right side it becomes plus 3 so 0 plus 3 is 3. So we get two values for x as x is equal to 0 or x equal to 3 as a result. Another question. Solve x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So we have to solve x squared minus 7x plus 12 is equal to 0. So here you have to choose the convenient method. Which method can be used here? See, look at this. We have first term, middle term, last term. There are three terms. So we can use splitting the middle term. Isn't it so let's try splitting the middle term middle term is minus 7 which is the sum or difference and the last term is plus 12 which is the product so here the last term is plus 12 as the last term is positive 
you can understand both the terms are either positive or both the terms are negative okay so here it is possible when we have 3 and 4 because 3 times 4 is 12 and 3 plus 4 is 7 but we want minus 7 so we will write it as minus 3 minus 4 so it is minus 3 minus 4 so we get it as x squared minus 7x can be splitted as minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 is equal to 0. That implies group and x is common. So we get x minus 3. Now here also bracket must be x minus 3 so that the common should be taken as minus 4 is equal to 0. That is x minus 3 of x minus 4 equals 0. So these are all steps we learned already. Only the new item you could find is, is equal to 0. Now you see it looks like a into b is equal to 0. That implies either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So x minus 3 into x minus 4 is equal to 0 implies either x minus 3 is 0 or x minus 4 is 0 or both are zeros. So x minus 3 is 0. Take minus 3 to right side. We get x is equal to 0 plus 3. And here we get x is equal to 0 plus 4. So the values of x are 3 and 4. Another question solve x squared minus 64 is equal to 0. So for this which is the suitable method? Yeah, we can write it has x squared minus 64 is 8 squared. So it looks like a squared minus b squared. You know that is a plus b into a minus b. So we get x squared minus 8 squared as x plus 8 into x minus 8 is equal to 0. So now again it looks like a into b is equal to 0. It implies a is equal to 0, b is equal to 0. That means it implies here x plus 8 equal to 0, x minus 8 equal to 0. So we get x is minus 8 or x is plus 8 as results. Solve x squared minus 13x plus 36 is equal to 0. Here also we could find three terms. First term, middle term and last term. So we can use splitting the middle term. As per the question, middle term is minus 13. Which is the sum or difference. And the last term is plus 36. Which is the product. And now let's find out the numbers and the last term is plus as the last term is positive both the numbers are positive or both are negative so no issue easily we can find out so 2 18 2 9 enough 2 into 2 is 4 4 plus 9 is 13 4 into 9 is 36 so numbers are minus 4 minus 9 so we get this question as x squared minus 4x minus 9x plus 36 equal to 0 that is x is common remaining x minus 4 here also we need x minus 4 so that the common term is minus 9 you can multiply and verify minus 9 into x minus 9x minus 9 into minus 4 plus 36 
that is equal to 0 that implies x minus 4 into x minus 9 is equal to 0 which uses the result x minus 4 equal to 0 or x minus 9 is equal to 0 that is x is equal to 4 or x is equal to 9 are the two solutions of this quadratic equation now let's go through a past paper question. Question A is factorize x squared minus 50x plus 609. And B is hence solve 2x squared minus 100x plus 1218. So you may find like these questions with hence. Okay. So here the question B starts with hence solve so and so. That means based on the first result we have to solve the second one. That is meant by hence solve. So let's solve first one. Let's factorize x squared minus 50x plus 6 is not 9. When you factorize the middle term is what is the middle term minus 50 middle term is minus 50 and the last term is 609 which is positive so as it is positive both are negative terms because this is minus so let's find out the numbers by factorization prime factorization 3 2 not 3 2 not 3 is not divisible by 3 next 7 7 2 is 14 6 7 9 63 so the numbers are 21 and 29 so we get it as minus 21 minus 29 so it can be written as x squared minus 21 x minus 29 x plus 6 not 9 that's equal common is x remaining x minus 21 so next bracket also x minus 21 so that this minus 29 will be the common term which is equal to x minus 21 of x minus 29 we forgot to put zero and uh, no zeros here because it is factorization <clears throat> so we have completed the factorization that is part A is over. Now part B. 2x squared minus 100x plus 1218 is equal to 0. We need to solve it. When we want to solve it, Look at this. We can solve this one using the factorization method, but we haven't learned this method because this is not one. Okay, anyway, when we learn it, we'll do that. Now, when you look at these terms, the 2 is here. This is 2 into 50. This is 2 into 609. So it is 2x squared minus 2 into 50x plus this is 2 into 609x sorry 609 no x is equal to 0 that means in every term you could find a 2 as common so if you take 2 the common term outside rest we have x squared minus 50x plus 609 is equal to 0 and if you <coughs> transpose this 2 to right side because this is 2 times if you take to the right side it becomes 0 divided by 2 
this is 2 into when you take to right side it becomes 0 by 2 0 by 2 is 0 so we get the answer as x squared minus 50x plus 609 we already factorized that one as x minus 21 into x minus 29 which is equal to 0 that implies x minus 21 is 0 or x minus 29 is 0 that gives the answer x is equal to 21 or x is equal to 29 okay thank you